Dear viewers, welcome to yet another edition of Your Life, Your Money. Many people have a confusion. Should they do things on their own in the financial planning or they should engage a financial planner? This question remains in the minds of each and every one. In this episode, I am going to talk to you about how engaging a financial planner can make difference, which is an area which will be helped and why it makes sense for you to look for the services of a financial planner. This is NRI Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Khan but your financial guide for a happy living. NRI Money Clinic. No hype. Just the right advice. Dear viewers, if you try to engage the services of a financial planner, it involves cost. It will not come free of cost for you. If you are a do-it-yourself investor, you can forego the cost of engaging a financial planner. That's given. But the question is, is that the extra cost which come to it? Is it advisable? Does it make any sense? It really adds value. Based on that, then you can take a call whether it makes sense for you to pay that extra cost. The extra cost may come in the form of somebody charging a fee. It could be a mutual fund distributor who gives you the regular scheme of things. It could be an insurance person or it could be a person who is engaged in other aspects of financial planning. Let's look at the benefits that come to you when you engage a financial planner. The first role of a financial planner is to take you out of the concentration risk. That's the mandate for the financial planner. People have got preferences. People, when they try to do on their own, they follow their instincts, they follow their emotions, they follow their preferences. This creates concentration risk. Concentration risk is not hypothetical. It is real. I have done evaluation of countless people over my career spanning two decades and concentration risk is there. It is there even today. It is there in each and every person. When we go through a fact find session of people, what we really notice is every person gets into this concentration risk. Concentration risk is not just about focusing on single stocks. You could be focusing all your savings into one asset class, could be a bank. That itself represents a concentration risk. Or you could be buying into only land. That could bring in illiquidity risk and exposure to one sector which may not perform for a long period of time. For people who are over invested in land in India or buildings in India, you have seen what happened in the last 10 years. For starting from 2012 when the real estate uh, reached its peak, even today, there is no monies which have been made in real estate. Of course, it will follow cyclicity. Of course, the real estate will come back. It will again move through the ladder of cyclicity. That will happen. But if you are overexposed to one particular sector, it may not work in your favor. On the contrary, you look at what happened during the same period. Where was gold and where is gold today? Look at where the Sensex was. In 2012, the Sensex was somewhere between 16,000 on the Sensex and 18,000 on the Sensex. Today, where is the Sensex? We are at 62,000 level. You create a concentration risk in land and you lost opportunity of a lifetime for 10 long years. You could have done it in a different way. You could have kept your preferences. You could have kept some exposure control on that. So this is the concentration risk people get into. The financial planner will help you to identify that concentration risk and he takes it out. Concentration risk can come in other forms as well. See, for example, people have a human tendency to chase returns. Who doesn't like returns? I also like return. But when you are chasing return, without your knowledge, you get into a concentration risk. You get moved by a particular asset class. See, we saw what happened with the cryptocurrencies. See, we completely stayed away from cryptos. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, we haven't uttered a word on crypto. We haven't done one single video on crypto. We at no point of time, we mentioned that it's worthy to put on the cryptos. We were simply guided by the fact that we do not know this asset class. It is not regulated. It is the 
hard earned money of people so we have no business to talk about that and look at the regulations which come in now look at the way taxation of cryptos happened so if you try to chase returns your risk can come in multiple forms people get moved by particular stocks you discuss this during your party time during your free time in office you discuss a stock or you discuss a particular fund you discuss asset class and you tend to chase the return and inadvertently you get into a concentration risk you fail to answer the simple question what if were to fail what consequences will result in your life but when you are working with a financial planner they are trained to look for concentration risk they are trained to avoid the concentration risk this is the other benefit the other way the concentration risk can get into your portfolio is because of a human nature of following the fashion everybody likes to follow the fashion the fashion is there on the television the fashion is being discussed the fashion is there on the newspaper fashion is something you feel very happy to boast of or to wear people are very very happy to put in us market they thought that us markets can make you colossal amount of money there is a disproportionate amount of money people put in the us market through this channel i had told you the risk which are going in the us market what might happen you may lose money you may not lose money the risk is that the us markets will not conquer the previous high for a long long period of time when individuals follow the fashion of the day without their knowledge they get into a concentration risk your financial planner will identify this risk and stays you clear of this particular concentration risk so the concentration risk is the one which your financial planners will easily able to conquer by engaging with you The second area where a financial planner can distinctly make a difference for you is to take you out of the risk of asset allocation mistakes. Asset allocation mistakes are something which can create complete disaster in your portfolio. I just told you about the real estate. If you have put disproportionate amount of money in the real estate and it is out of fashion or it has become overheated, then it can create a problem. So it's common knowledge that the asset allocation is something which needs to be practiced. Finally, your return is a function of how efficiently you bring in asset allocation, which asset class you focus on, which asset class you uh, shy away from, which asset class you can be, you know, overexposed, or which asset class you should underexpose yourself. These are the things which will dictate. what kind of a returns you make whether you are able to reach targets or not whether you are able to beat inflation or not are dictated but in the process of creating an asset allocation people tend to do lot of mistake let me help you with the, an example now now the government of india floats uh, sovereign gold bonds and gold is something which does not require any advertisement when people say gold people will fall prey to it but if you do not ask the question why i am buying sovereign gold bonds in such large amounts of, then you will falter look at the perspective of the government and look at your own perspective government brings in the sovereign gold bonds to reduce its import bills government knows that the indians have a fancy for gold they buy colossal amount of gold they are one of the biggest buyers of gold in the world because we do not have gold within the country the government needs to import this gold and it calls for a lot of commitment towards forex and it can drain the forex it's not an essential commodity gold is not an essential commodity but if government can lure you and say that instead of that i will give you gold or i'll give you returns on the gold instead you put it on sovereign gold bonds government can prevent excessive imports of gold this is the perspective of government why do you have gold in your portfolio it could be only two reasons one for an investment purpose the second thing could be for the purpose of jewelry every family needs jewelry we are indians we have a fancy for jewelry if you are buying gold for jewelry buying sgb does not have make any sense for you if you are putting money in sgb with an investment purpose then you should know how much you ought to put in so if you mix these two things and you take a disproportionate call on sovereign gold bonds without knowing the purpose it can create problems for you 
that's what financial planner tells you likewise in one of the videos i had told uh, to invest in floating rate bonds of reserve bank of india and we had made these videos when the interest rate was low people were asking me the question what might happen which is a better instrument for us to park the money and i had made a recommendation that the floating rate bonds of reserve bank of india could be a better option because when the interest rate moves up as per the cyclicity of interest rate you stand to gain a higher rate of interest but look at the situation today if you buy floating rate bonds today what might happen see we are at the peak of interest rate cycle if you buy floating rate interest bonds today the chances are that the interest rates will go down and they'll go down drastically down after a lapse of time that means knowingly you are getting into these bonds without understanding the risk of interest rates falling and you getting a lesser return likewise people come in influence of news friends they buy into asset class like a lot of people have lost call loss a lot of money in the cryptocurrencies in the year 2008 uh, people lost colossal amounts of money investing in the small cap funds or the micro cap funds and the mid cap funds it happens periodically so in your asset allocation if you do not know how you have to give a proper allocation to a individual portfolio it may not work in your favor likewise conservative investors feel that the bank fds are the only thing that they have to put it in and in their asset allocation or they say 90% of my portfolio should be filled with bank uh, fds think about it if you are a resident indian you hardly get any interest from the bank fds forget today's 6 6 and 7% rate of return uh, interest rates have dropped down to 5 4.5% and if you are paying taxes you make no mistake the fds will erode your wealth fds will erode the purchasing power i don't think at any point of time a taxpayer has made money by investing money in the bank fixed deposit any period of time your fds will stay in sync with inflation most of the time but even that's not a guarantee go between 2010 and 2014 period the inflation was 12% but your fd rates itself did not climb beyond 9 9 1/2 even if you are a non tax payer you lost money keeping money in the bank fixed deposits your financial planner can make a difference he can highlight this point he can tell you look you may feel comfortable putting your money in a bank fd but what you think is the safety itself has a risk built around it so the biggest difference the financial planner can make for you is to avoid the mistake of asset allocation misallocation of resources and he comes with a knowledge of how different assets will perform under different conditions not every asset class will perform simultaneously when the interest rates are high the fixed income may be doing very well when the inflation is high the hard commodities of uh, precious metals or commodities could be doing very well when the interest rates are falling it may be better sense for you to keep your money in the gilt funds when the interest rates are rising it may be better for you to keep money in the liquid funds so there are different things that has to be taken into account when you build your asset allocation i have no hesitation to stay instead of do it yourself investor this is one area financial planners will definitely definitely score over do it yourself investors the third area your financial planners can help you is to conquer the emotions if you are on your own there is nobody to tell you that you are taking a decision emotionally it's common knowledge people often hear in the families people tell don't take decisions when you are very happy don't scold anyone when you are angry what does it mean it means the emotions will distort your thinking process when you are investing your money it's obvious that you will come under the emotions but a financial planner can help you conquer these emotions he builds a process around the planning the process takes out those emotions investing is basically a very risky affair and you have to create safety the purpose of investment is to get better return the purpose of investment is to get, beat inflation the purpose of investment is to reach the destination safely but faster The best example of risk is an aircraft. There can't be much better example than an aircraft to describe the risk. Here is this instrument which flies in the air. There are no street lights, there are no policemen to guide you, there are no road marks there. It moves at a speed of 800,000 km speed it uh, goes in the sky. It is flying with combustible fuel and one minute error 
will create disaster and when the disaster happens chances of survival are almost nil but look at how man conquered this the most riskiest thing has been made into the most safest mode of transport how did that happen that happened by a method of process putting a process in place no pilot for his efficiency can say i will fly like this i'll fly like that in the airports people have to handle the ground the passengers aircraft fueling everything as a method of process because the process is adhered to the core the flying industry emerged as the safest mode of transport it takes people from point to point very safely very fast investments is nothing less than the journey of an aircraft when you follow the process you reach early when you follow the process you will not result in disaster or accidents that's exactly what the your financial planner will help you build that process that's the reason that you should work with a financial planner dear viewers hope you understood the a difference a financial planner can bring in your life if you are a person who is looking out for a financial planner or wanting the services of a financial planner you can make best use of services provided by nri money clinic we have team of experts to help you you can make a request to us through a whatsapp message on the number that is shown here on the screen we have also provided a link in the description box just click on the description box it will take you to the whatsapp from there you can send us a message and our team of experts are always ready to help you that dear viewers the hope the video that i have done today helped you to understand the working of a financial planner or if it added value to you do like this video do not forget to share these videos with your near and dear ones friends and relatives thank you very much for watching this episode on nra money clinic i shall be back with you next friday with yet another episode of your life your money till then stay safe press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel